contentment through our text comprehension. Are you ready? Good. Let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts. To others, love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, amen. It's really good to have you here. Welcome. If you have your workbook and you're following along, we are on page 114. That's 114. 114. So let's begin by talking about our virtue of the day, which is contentment. Contentment. Contentment, that's three syllables. Con, tent. And the final syllables on the bottom line, because it wouldn't all fit on the, the top line. And if you have a word that's too long and it won't fit on the top line, you just want to bring that last syllable down to the bottom line. Um, careful to divide between the syllables. And you can add this dash there to show that this is all um, one line. I want all, all one word. So a contentment, let's read about the definition of it in the glossary. In your workbook, if you have that, you may turn to the back of the book where the glossary is, and find the letter C, and there we have contentment. Content, so what does it mean to be content? Satisfy with current condition. Satisfy with current condition. Are you satisfied with your current condition? Do you have a feeling of contentment? Hmm, contentment. Satisfied with current condition, I like that, satisfied. It's an attitude of, I'm happy with what I have. Let's see if we can find someone in our text comprehension worksheet who displayed contentment. Here we go. My turn, my turn, shouted the children, encircling Santa and his elves. Santa gently brought each child to his side and asked what was wanted for Christmas. The children each requested one thing or another until he reached a special little boy. Little boy, what would you like for Christmas? Asked Santa as usual. Sir, I don't want anything at all, replied the boy. God gave me everything and he gave me Jesus. Surprised, Santa asked, then why are you here, son? Because Jesus told me to give you a hug. The boy said as he embraced Santa with all his might. God bless you, dear son, said an emotional Santa. So in the um, for the comprehension of this text, you draw pictures of the children and elves to complete the picture. I want to read, it, um, read that story aloud so that we can talk around this attitude of contentment. It's the attitude of, I'm satisfied. So when we say, can I give you? Can I give you? And if you're content with your life and if everything is where it should be according to uh, God's will for your life, you just say, I don't, I don't need anything. I want to bless you. I don't, I don't need anything right now. I give thanks to God. He has me at a content state in my life. Content. And, um, so it's, it's, it's good to have seasons of contentment. Um, is there peaceful times? In everyone's life because everyone's life can be up and down all around <laughs> and um, and we want to have those seasons where we're content everything is just where it should be and that's called contentment the reason that attitude is good is because you it gives you a sense of completion and fulfillment that you can only get in Christ Jesus and most importantly, it gives you an opportunity to think and display love and kindness to other people. Even if, you know, even when um, other people may be trying to extend help and service to you, it gives you a chance to say, no, I want to bless you. I want to give to you. 
I want to be a blessing to you. So it's good to have seasons of contentment. It really, really is. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's really good to be content. And so that's what contentment is about. So I have a question for you. What is contentment? What is contentment? Satisfaction with your current circumstances or situation. Good job. Does God want us to have contentment? Yes, there, there are times when God wants us to be content. And um, he actually wants us to always be content with our with our with what we have. But there, um, he always wants us to be content with what we have in terms of possessions and things. I've got enough money and food and whatnot. But he always wants us to be wanting him more. So when I speak from contentment, I'm speaking in the sense of possessions. I want more. I need more money, more clothes, more shoes. He tells us um, through the Apostle Paul to be content with what you have. So contentment is good. But there, uh, when it comes to our relationship with God and our um, faith, he wants us to always, to almost be discontent. He always wants to improve and get better and closer and closer and closer to God. So there's contentment with respect to treasures and earthly possessions. And there's a need, a certain urge that every Christian possesses that says, I want God much more today than I had him yesterday. So depends on which, for, you know, which uh, one you're talking about. But contentment with respect to possessions is absolutely important and we should be content with what with what god has given us my next question to you is how have you displayed contentment um, to your parents and to the people in your world do you have an opportunity to display contentment and to say i'm satisfied yeah maybe someone says what do you want for christmas you say I've got everything I need. I've got Jesus and I've got wonderful parents. I don't need anything else. <laughs> Good. Um, do you think that attitude pleases God? Yeah. So I was like, oh, mommy, I want Barbie doll and I want, you know, a train that can walk and talk and, you know, or they say, I am happy. God has been good to me. Thank you. Being content with respect to earthly treasures is absolutely important. And God wants us to, to have that virtue because it is a virtue there are some people who are never content <laughs> so it's absolutely a virtue and you can start um this week putting this into practice with your thoughts your words and it will come out in your actions do you agree good i do too well thank you so much for coming to class today i'm just so um pleased to have you in our world in our lives so until next time god bless I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with Hero Sports.